Ankit Deswar, I am the founder of Think My Learning Solutions and today in this video we are going to discuss how students can clear mechanics very easily. Uh, this video is same for both uh, new syllabus and old syllabus uh, as the syllabus has not changed much. So let's get started. So in, uh, in mechanics uh, there are few topics that you have to do. Uh, this first topic that, uh, that is system of open and forces. Now in system of open and forces it is all about uh, finding uh, sigma fx, sigma fy and like uh, forces in x direction, forces in y direction and the resultant of forces. This concept is, uh, is used in equilibrium, friction, pluses, so overall and also in forces in space. So this is the basic uh, uh, basics for the chapters uh, like uh, trusses, equilibrium, support reaction, uh, forces in space. So this chapter is quite easy. You should not be uh, you know uh, uh, get frightened by seeing the sums asked in the paper. But then only remember that in this uh, in this type of sums you only have to resolve the forces in x direction, in y direction, and find the resultant. Uh, there are, you know, the diagrams are very big given in the question and uh, you are a bit confused by seeing the diagrams. But then uh, you have to remember only one point that is you have to resolve the forces in x direction, y direction and then find the resultant R. Uh, also in this, uh, find uh, at the end do write what is the resultant. Don't only find sigma fx and sigma fy. Finding the resultant is very important. Uh, next coming to central. Now central again a very simple question where you might be given a diagram and then you might have you might be told to find uh, the center of the uh, the diagram given. So again a simple question where you just have to remember what is uh, the centroid for the uh, like rectangle, square, circle, semicircle. There are different formulas for that. You have to remember that and then uh, uh, use the formula x, x bar is equal to and then the sigma ai xi upon xi uh, similarly you can, check, you can just check the formula what is there but then again a very simple sum uh, which can fetch you around 8 marks uh, next is equilibrium equilibrium again a very important uh, chapter uh, in, if you see in equilibrium now uh, here it was like we were finding sigma fx sigma fy and the resultant in this case you will be finding sigma fx which is equal to 0 because it is an equilibrium sigma fy like the forces in x direction is equal to 0 forces in y direction is equal to 0 and then you might be you know told to find uh, some of the forces so again a very simple chapter uh, here in this questions are uh, like uh, there might be two or two circles uh, like two spheres kept one, uh, one above another and then you will uh, like and you will be told that it is an equilibrium and then the find uh, the forces so in this type of uh, diagrams it is like uh, you have to find the angle theta once you can find the angle theta uh, resolving the forces is not that difficult so when you are solving the sums try to uh, you know uh, give more importance to how the angles are calculated you know how the distance are calculated uh, like how theta is calculated uh, like it is in, more, in most of the cases it is like it is forming a uh, triangle and then uh, you might be you know getting uh, the distances of x or the hyper like uh, hypotenuse and then in that way you will be finding theta so in this type of sum the equilibrium again you, have, you don't have to you know worry about the diagrams just get uh, just try to make sure that uh, you are you know, finding the correct angles once you are finding the correct angles again it's the same uh, finding the uh, uh, finding the uh, forces in x direction, putting it to 0, finding the forces in y direction which is equal to 0 and then you have to find one of uh, find the forces which are unknown ok uh, so this is an, uh, this is equilibrium uh, this are the, the spheres is one type of problem there are a lot of uh, different problems that you can see in the textbook but then the concept is the same sigma fx is equal to 0, sigma fy is equal to 0 and then uh, you have to just find the unknown forces so around two questions uh, one in question number 4 and one in the you know, below questions, question 2 to 6 can be asked. Uh, now, seeing or based on equilibrium, there is a one more topic which is called support reaction of beam. There will be a beam, uh, there will be the forces, uh, you know, there are some forces given, one is in uh, uh, triangle form, one is in rectangle form, 
Okay, and then again you have to you know find uh, uh, to, uh, reactions like uh, there will be a beam. Uh, you have to find uh, the reactions to the beam and in that sort. Again, a very simple chapter based on equilibrium and coplanar forces. The concepts are from this only. So you have to just find uh, like uh, there can be concept, there can you know in this case you have to take a uh, moment is equal to zero or summation f x is equal to zero, summation f y equal to zero. In that way, you have to calculate. Uh, the support reactions of the beam. Again, a very simple uh, question, but around 8 marks is asked. Now, there is a uh, chapter called as forces in space. You know, again, a very simple chapter when in, uh, uh, there will be forces given in x, y, z direction. Uh, you have to find uh, the forces in one of the directions. So, if you see the solid examples, it is quite, quite simple. It is, uh, it is like the vectors that you might have solved in a 12th standard. Uh, you have to you know y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1, z2 minus z1, are uh, that kind of problems. So if you see the solid examples, I think so you can you know score very well in this uh, this topic also. So around 10 marks of uh, force in space uh, is asked. Uh, there are few students who are leaving this chapter, you know, maybe you know, just because of uh, x, y, z. But then remember, it is the same as that you saw in the vectors. Okay. So very easy chapter for uh, easy chapter for around 10 marks. Again, there is a push, uh, there is one more topic. This comes in dynamics, and the topic is instantaneous center of rotation. See, ICR, I can say there are around 15, 10, 15 type of sums. If you see, concept is the same. You know, there is a formula for ICR, and then you know you just have to apply that and solve. But in case of ICR, you will have you know, you uh, by seeing the sum, you should be able to guess. You know, this is how you have to solve it. If you have not seen the sum, it is very difficult to you know guess you know, how this will rotate. So there will be a beam which is you know moving in that this direction, and you have to find the rotation how it is. So instantaneous center of rotation, it's simple, but then you know once you are able to find the way it is rotating, it is very simple. So just you know, try to see the solid examples on this. I think so you can you know uh, solve it. Again here the uh, the angles are very important. Once you can find the angles, I think so you can solve this sum. Now there is one question on motion curves. Uh, normally this is seen in every paper. Uh, what uh, the uh, what can be given is there will be a diagram. Okay, uh, maybe in uh, XT form. And then you will be told to find the AT, BT, or ST curve. Okay. So depending on all, or you might be given some statements, and you will you will be told to find the AT, BT, or ST curve. Very simple question. You just have to you know remember uh, what are the equations for AT, what is the equation of BT, what is the equation of ST, and then it's all about substitution. Initial conditions will be given to you, and then you will have to find the final conditions depending on the parameters given. I think so. This is a very simple topic. It, that is in the kinematics chapter. Just check out for this one. Only in kinematics, just check out for this type of sums. I think one question will surely appear on this topic in the paper. Very simple chapter which we can solve. Then uh, friction. Friction it depends, you know, some students find it a bit difficult, but again it's a very simple chapter. It's again the same as you know coplanar forces and equilibrium. But in this case, there is only a frictional force that is added, you know, the way the block is moving, the frictional force will be in the opposite direction. So there will be that one force which will be included. Again, other concepts are the same like in equilibrium. Equilibrium uh, and the concepts of you know this topic is in friction. So you can go, you can you know, check out the solid examples of friction, how they are solved, try to you know, analyze, you know, this is how the method is. Try to remember the concepts and then solve it. So again, friction, two questions, one in question number one is expected and then a question in question number two to six can be asked. Plus, around six to eight marks, always in every paper. Now I don't recommend trust, uh, solving the problems of trusses first. Uh, I do recommend uh, to solve it at the end because it, it takes a lot of time to solve the problem of trust. But then again, it's you know, Based on this same, uh, like uh, system of coplanar forces and equilibrium, so again a very uh, the topic the sum is simple, but then you will have to you know 
So I'll get as fast as possible. You should not give 20 minutes or more on this sum. Okay, trust, easy chapter, uh, easy topic. You know, there are two methods. Uh, in exam, mostly do, both the methods are asked, but then they will not tell you to find everything. They will uh, find, tell you to find few selected things and you know, based on you know, 8 marks, they are not that difficult sums. Previously, the, those sums were asked for 15 marks. Now they have reduced it to 8 months, but then you know, they ask simple uh, simple things. So try to you know, analyze how, what is the sum, try to solve process, I think so you can you know, fetch 6 to 8 months very easily. Then there is one topic again in kinematics, uh, failures of curvature. There is one question that can, can be asked, it is not always it is asked, but then a uh, question on radius of curvature or dx by dt or d to x by dt square that is v or a to find the acceleration of velocity acceleration or velocity is generally seen in the paper so this is not always but then uh, uh, these questions are the fixed questions like you will see surely questions on these topics very simple topics i have tried to you know fetch only those topics which are simple and you know which can uh, which students can do easily if you see, I have covered only most of it. Are, topics are from statics and not dynamics. Dynamics people, you know, students find it a bit difficult, but then statics students are you know very much uh, comfortable solving it. So these are the topics that I suggest you should do it. Uh, there are few theory questions. You know, it depends. They will ask theory questions or they will not ask. But then I think so you should do theory questions also. There was one paper where around 25 marks questions were on theory. But then you know, uh, in last few papers uh, there are only three, three mark or five mark question out here. But still, you should do it. Uh, what will happen is you, anyway, you are solving the sums, so you remember the concept. The same concept you have to write in the theory form. So if you read the theory properly, you can just, you uh, know, write it. Uh, in mechanics, moreover, if you write the concept properly, if you are, if you are just close to the concept and you are writing, uh, you know, around uh, one hundred and a half pages about the topic, you will surely fetch marks. Okay, so the theory question that I suggest is you know, state and prove Lagrange's theorem. Again, a very important theorem which is used in equilibrium. Uh, laws of friction, okay, topic and friction. Then angle of friction, angle of repose, and relation between two can be asked. Direct impact, public impact, and line of impact. Study only theory, or only theory part of this. Not very difficult. Uh, you can just refer any standard book, and you can get the definitions of those. Discuss the resultant of concurrent forces in space. You know, how the resultant is found in the uh, in space for concurrent forces. Then state and prove work energy principle. Again, a very simple principle uh, 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 is there. You can you know read it. Instead of center of rotation, as uh, you know, as I have suggested already, I have to solve problems on ICR. The same you know the concept that is used in ICR. You have to write it here. Then now. Uh, Free boy dynamics mechanism, uh, a theory question can come on this. State and prove Varignon theorem. Motion curves, like I told, AT, BT, and ST curve, how they are calculated, what is the formula. You just have to write those in this XT, XT, BT, or AT curves. Then explain condition of equilibrium force, forces in space. And what is the condition of equilibrium? Uh, what, what is the condition of equilibrium? Like right? sigma x is equal to 0, sigma y is equal to 0. The same you have to you know, mention here. Say the elements principle with two examples or what is tangential and normal acceleration. So you know, these are the theory questions that I have selected. There can be more theory questions, but then you know this are the generally uh, these are the generally general questions that are normally asked more in the paper. So I think so if you go with this strategy, you can clear mechanics very easily. It's not that difficult. You know, try to check out for most odd examples. If you go through most odd examples, just check out. How it is solved? What is the concept behind it? Okay. In this topic, if you see, it's all about you know calculating sigma x is equal to uh, poses in x direction, poses in y direction. But then the most important thing is the angles that you have to calculate. All these topics very easy. If you are from old syllabus, uh, what I have is suggested you can find all this question in question number one, question number two, question number three. And then in question number 4 or 5, you have to select one question wherein you know, the questions of this appears. In question number 2, you will find two questions. In question number 3, you will find two questions. In question number 4 or in question number 5, you will find in any of these questions, you will find two questions on this topic. And then in question number 1, it is like 
you will get around 2 or 3 questions on this topics. So, if you go for this, this is what I have suggested, you will get attempt a paper of 50, 55 or 60 marks very easily. So, if you go with this, I think so you can clear mechanics very easily. I need to, you know, uh, be very uh, careful about uh, the while we are solving the sums. Don't make silly mistakes, you know. Angles are very important. Many times students are stuck on the angle part itself. Once they are able to find the angles, they can solve the sums very easily. So look out for the angles in the in the in the in the sum that you are solving. Try to solve as many numericals as possible. Go through the past papers, uh, past uh, paper solutions. Uh, also, uh, you know uh, other books that are many solid examples. Just go through the solid examples. What is the concept? How they are solving the sums? And I think so that uh, that will build, that will help you a lot. So I hope uh, this video is informative uh, and will help you to clear mechanics very easily. Uh, if you like this video, please like it on our YouTube channel. Please share with your friends so that even they can clear mechanics very easily. I know it's a very difficult subject and many students get a drop because of mechanics. But then I think so if you do this this topics, you can clear mechanics easily. I will help so many students clearing mechanics just you know, teaching them these topics. Uh, please share with your friends and do subscribe to our channel. Give this video a like so that you know uh, it helps uh, me also to you know, uh, gain some confidence that you are liking my videos and uh, it is helping you in some way or the other. Uh, also the next videos on chemistry 2 and SPA will be fully based on think my notes. So whatever topics that are covered in the syllabus all the topics uh, have been you know, covered in think by notes. So if you see that everything is covered in question answer format, the type of question that can be asked in the paper and what is the expected answers. So do check out our think by notes, do visit our website www.thinkmail.com slash notes. You can get uh, uh, good discounts on SP and chemistry too uh, of think by notes. So, do check that out. I think so. They will uh, help you to score at least 60, 65, or 80 in your exams. So do check it out. Uh, so uh, we'll see you in the next video. Uh, I'm coming up with a few more videos on chemistry uh, and physics one also. B double is coming. So let's see. In your next, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.